Hey there. So yeah, I was drinking heavily for nearly 10 years, pretty much seven days a week. And just to answer your first question, how did it in impact my health? Well, mentally it impacted me. I would feel depressed and anxious pretty much on a daily basis, but I was honestly so used to it that it was just normal for me to wake up with like a pounding heart in the morning and be super anxious, like that anxiety type feeling, which I now know is just a sign of uh, alcohol withdrawal. Um, I was also pretty depressed. I wasn't ever diagnosed chronic depression or anything like that, but just mentally I felt depressed on a regular basis. I also didn't realize what a strong link there was between alcohol and depression. Now I know. Uh, physically, I just felt sick um, almost every single day. I was hungover, I would say at least half the week. I'd wake up with either a mild hangover or all the way to a severe hangover where I just was stuck in bed and, and couldn't even function or would be throwing up in the, the toilet or something like that. And also I just feel like now I can look back and see more clearly that my heavy drinking really robbed me of my confidence. I just had such low self-confidence and I also realized that I never really experienced true joy in the near 10 years that I was drinking heavily. I could be happy and stuff like that, but usually it would be a superficial happiness that came from getting a buzz from the alcohol. It wasn't like a genuine joy that I felt like deep in my soul, just, you know, grateful to be alive, for example. So that's just some of the ways I felt sick. I was always concerned in the back of my mind, honestly, that my drinking was going to result in me having cancer one day. Um, it did lead me to getting a couple chronic illnesses. I had high blood pressure and I also had a bilateral pulmonary embolism, which essentially is blood clots in my lungs. I've since healed from both of those, but um, the pulmonary embolism almost killed me. That's what the doctors told me. I was in the hospital for several days and um, had to get that taken care of, was on medication for a while. Uh, but the high blood pressure as well was something that I never went on medication for, but I remember knowing in the back of my mind it was because I was such a heavy drinker, but I just kind of ignored it. And so I stopped drinking through a treatment protocol known as the Sinclair Method. Um, it's what my whole channel is about. This is actually a treatment that helps people to reduce their drinking over time. It uses the medication naltrexone, uh, really working over time to help the brain essentially unlearn alcohol addiction. So I learned about this treatment in 2017. I started it with the goal just to reduce my drinking because at the time I didn't want to quit. I just wanted to cut back and be like a moderate drinker, you know, have a glass or two of wine on a Friday night kind of thing. That was my ideal relationship with alcohol. And I started on this treatment and it was pretty amazing how it just helped me to gradually reduce my drinking over time. Started it as a daily binge drinker and month after month my drinking was just decreasing. I was seeing myself have more control. I was having more alcohol alcohol free days just because I didn't feel like drinking anymore and after about eight or nine months on this treatment I was drinking like one drink once or twice a month so I'd really become this normal moderate drinker uh, but then after about a full year on this protocol I just saw myself lose interest in alcohol like I didn't really care about drinking anymore in fact alcohol just didn't appeal to me anymore and so I quit drinking alcohol toward the end of 2018 and I haven't desired it since then I don't miss it I don't crave it um, it's not something I am interested in consuming it's just um, I feel completely free from the alcohol addiction and this treatment uses the medication naltrexone but I also haven't taken the medication since I quit drinking because I was following this protocol that just required me to take naltrexone one hour before drinking that is the Sinclair method protocol and your final question about my husband this is and is husband all agrees to daily drinking I'm not sure what that means but um, I think you were referencing I mentioned my husband in that video I think um, I hid my drinking from my husband he drinks but he's not someone who has a problem he can have like one or two gla glasses of wine like once or twice a week I've never seen him drunk so um, he knew I drank and he knew I drank a lot, but he didn't know how much I was drinking. And as I started on this treatment, obviously I started to be more honest with them and now he knows everything about my drinking and my history with it. But I think for a lot of us, we struggle with alcohol use disorder. There's a lot of shame around it. Um, and so we tend to hide it from our loved ones and, and sneak drinks behind their back, which is what I was doing. But I hope this answers your question. Uh, thanks so much. Oh, and if you're interested to learn more about the Sinclair Method, which is the treatment I use to reduce my drinking and then eventually go alcohol-free, all my videos are about it. You can also click the link in my profile or visit our website, thrivealcoholrecovery.com. Bye for now.